time and let us celebrate this Eucharist. Entrance hymn, come, now is the time to worship. Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Welcome everybody. Today we are celebrating the 25th Sunday in Ordinary Time and the Lord invite us to practice justice according to his own thoughts and to work on his vineyard. I'm Father Apolinar Samboni. I'm here the, the starting the new assignment in this beautiful community. I heard beautiful things because many people said this is a working community, people who work very hard for this church. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins at the presence of the Lord. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grandiose fault, therefore I ask, bless Mary, every virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
God, who found in all the commandments of your sacred law upon love of you and our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts, we may merit to attain eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the union of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Seek the Lord, or he may be found. Call him, for he is near. Let the scrambled forsake his way, and the wicked his thoughts. Let him turn to the Lord for mercy, to our God, who is generous in forgiving. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. As high as the heavens are above the earth, so high are my ways above your ways, and my thoughts above your thoughts. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, Christ will be magnified in my body, whether by life or by death. For to me, life is Christ, and death is gain. If I go on living in the flesh, that means fruitful labor for me, and I do not know which I shall choose. I am caught between the two. I long to depart this life and be with Christ, for that is far better. Yet that I remain in the flesh is more necessary for your benefit. Only conduct yourselves in a way worthy of the gospel of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Open our 
listen to the words of your son. Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out at dawn to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with them for the usual daily wage, he sent them into his vineyard. Going out about nine o'clock, the landowner so all their standing idle in the marketplace, and he said to them, You to go into my vineyard, and I will give you what is just. So they went up. And he went out again around noon, and around three o'clock, and did likewise. Going out about five o'clock, the land wonder on the found the other standing around and said to them, Why do you stand here idle all day? They answered, Because no one has hired us. He said to them, You to go into my vineyard. When it was evening, the owner of the vineyard said to his foreman, Summon the laborers and give them their pay beginning with the last and ending with the first. When those who had started about five o'clock came, each received the usual daily wage. So when the first came, they thought that they would receive more, but each of them also got the usual wage. And on, the and on the receiving it, they grumbled against the landowner, saying, these last ones work only one hour, and you have made them equal to us, who bore the day's burden and the, and the heat. He said to one of them in reply, My friend, I, I am not shooting you. Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what is yours and go. But I which to give this last one the same as you or i am not free to do as i wish with my own money are you biased because i am generous thus the last will be first and the first will be last the gospel of the lord Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. These readings we are going to reflect on this day. It could be a little complicated because the way in we hear in the first reading the lord said my thoughts are far away from your thoughts and that is a little controversial today if we are reflected on these readings because if you think that would be unjustly when 
Some of them work the whole day long and the others just an hour and they receive the same wage. That would be a little complicated, injustice. But the Lord invites us to reflect on his ways, not in our own thinking. And that is invitation for all of us to work in his vineyard, to work in the proclamation of the kingdom. And sometimes we need to be aware this gospel is talking about the wage is salvation. Jesus came, brought to us, going to the cross, dying on the cross, and going to his resurrection. And today, more than ever, we need to think of all the people who have worked in his vineyard through the history of salvation. First, we need to think of the people of the Old Testament, Moses, Abraham, Jacob, Isaac, and also the prophets, and all the people who work in, in the history of salvation. And then Jesus Christ, the early church, and all the martyrs and holy people who had worked during, three, during these 2,000 years, the Christianity or the Catholic Church. And today, the people who go on, who go in to work at five o'clock, that would be each one of us. We are at the end of the day going to work, but the Lord says, what are you doing here? You too go to my vineyard. And that is exactly we need to do every day, working to serve God through this community, through our brothers and sisters. And today more than ever, we need to understand very well this gospel, because that's happened in a parish in Colombia, in the parish where I have been done working with them. When some people work very hard, they are very committed doing everything at the church, but others don't. So they start complaining, why I'm, I'm here working the whole day, that is the time for my family, for my wife, for my husband, and I'm here. And the others only came a little and they go back to their family to home. But the invitation is everyone is invited to work in this vineyard, no matter what, if you are early or you are late, just doing your best. And that is the main invitation for all of us. Do not complain, don't look at all the, oh, I'm doing my best and the other guy doesn't. That is not our job. Our job is working. Our job is your commitment to be faithful to the Lord, to work very hard no matter what, to work very, very hard, even if the other people, they are not committed to work as they should. And that is a main invitation for all of us, even in our family members at home, you see some of the, your children, they are more responsible than others. And you can say, okay, this is my favorite child because he do everything I order them. But the other, he doesn't or she doesn't. However, you love all of them with the same love to your favorite child, your favorite kid. That is God doing the same to us. No matter when, you make the commitment to be here, helping in this church, working for this church. Maybe it could be one acts to retreat, cursillo, or any kind, when you said, the Lord is waiting for me. I'm going to serve him. 
I'm going to serve this community and I will serve him. And that is the final invitation for each one of us, no matter how old you are, no matter is the late in your life, just come. Just the Lord is waiting for you to work and to speak, to spread the kingdom of God. Starting by home, school, work, and the church. So hopefully in this new stage, in this new assignment, I'm going to start in this Sunday, hopefully we should work in everything the Lord is waiting for. And all the people who are watching us for Facebook, you are committed to go wherever the Lord is needing you. Sometimes in these difficult times of pandemic, they said, oh, okay, I'm scared to go to the church. Maybe I'm going to die. And I would like to say that people, it's not, pandemic is not the only way you can die. You, we can die of thousands and thousands of ways. So don't be afraid. Take care of you and your family. But listen carefully. What is God asking to you? Maybe God will be happy to see you in the 25% of the capacity of the church with your family. Worship God in the presence, participating in the Eucharist. So that is the invitation. The Lord invites us to work in his vineyard, no matter if you are late, no matter if you are old, God is waiting for you. God is waiting for each one of us. Don't think the justice, our justice is according to the justice of God. Because justice implies to give each one what that person deserves. But for God, the justice is his mercy. He's compassionate with each and all of us. So I invite you to experience his mercy. And I invite you going before going to bed tonight and the whole week, reflect on this. What is the Lord asking to me to do for my family, for my school, for my work, for my church? And try to respond and take action on that. Hopefully the Virgin Mary and Jesus Christ help us to do this and to understand his justice is not according to us. Hopefully the Virgin Mary help us to do this. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, through God from through God, begotten no man, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For I was many for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate on the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who in the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. 
I confess for baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. God's, God's ways are high above ours, yet our prayers are always heard. For all who proclaim the gospel with their lives, especially teachers and missionaries, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all who labor in the vineyards of peace, especially national leaders and elected representatives, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all who suffer and die for their faith, especially Christians in the Middle East, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all who strive to end disease and suffering, especially doctors and medical researchers, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all who gather at this table, especially the sorrowful and the lonely, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the eternal rest of Armando Rodriguez, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for the health of Isabel Montoya, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And we pray for all the people who are sick, the people who have been affected for this pandemic, the all the people who are suffering different illness, terminal illnesses, and for all the people who request our prayer. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for all the departed souls, mainly for our loved ones, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Generous God, you are near to all who call on you. Hear our prayers and grant what the Spirit buys of us. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. 
May the Lord accept the sacrifice as your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, the, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess in devotion and faith, they may thirst through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth he brought renewal to the humanity fallen state and by his suffering cancel out our sins and by his rising from the dead he has opened the way to eternal life and by ascending to you O father he has unlocked the gates of heaven and so with the company of the angels and saints we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim <laughs> so that the human race may become holy, just as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray upon your people suffering, and pour out of them the power of your spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, in whom we too are your sons and daughters. Indeed, though we once were lost and could not approach you, you love us with the greatest love for your son who alone is just, handing himself over to death, and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross. But before his arms were stretched between heaven and earth to become the lasting sign of your covenant, he decided to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, knowing that he was about to reconcile all things in himself through his blood to be shed on the cross, he took the chalice filled with the fruit of the wine and more, and once more giving you thanks, handed the chalice to the disciple, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of
we celebrate the memorial of your son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover in our surest peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead and looking forward to his blessing coming, we offer you, who are our faithful and merciful God, this sacrificial victim who reconciles to you the human race. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, on those you unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake of this one bread and one chalice, they may be gathered into one body in Christ, who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with Francis our Pope and Mark Joseph our Bishop. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom until the hour when we stand before you, saints among the saints in the halls of heaven, with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed apostles and the saints, all the saints, with San Pedro Jesus Maldonado and with our deceased brothers and sisters, who we humbly commend to your mercy. Then freed at last from the wood of corruption and made fully into a new creation, which shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ, who lives for all eternity. Through him and win him, then then him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from them. Deliver us Lord we pray from every evil gracious grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom the power and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grace and grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
name who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am no more than you should enter into my room, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life.
Exodus raised up, make the working of this heavenly gift, O oh Lord, we pray, take possession of our mind and bodies so that its effects and not of our own desires may always prevail in us. Gradually raise up, O oh Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and the manner of our life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please have a seat for a moment. Okay, let me introduce myself. I'm Father Apolinar Samboni. I'm originally from Colombia, and I have been in St. Mark as a pastor assistant, St. Mark Catholic Church. Then I went sent to St. Jude for eight months. In St. Mark, I was for a, a year and a half. In St. Jude, eight months. And then I was sent to Benford, our Lady of Parima Catholic Church, and I, wa and I was there for three and a half years. And now I'm beginning this new assignment here in this beautiful community. So I'm happy to work with you. I, I had a serious space, but I no bite anyone, so please approach me, ask me anything, and I will ready to hear, to serve you in any way I can do for you. One more I need to say, uh, Julie has said me, to me many things, so we are going to meet for Zoom meetings, and we are going to start, I'm going to be involved in everything the parties are doing, because I saw on Facebook uh, you were selling food for to go, and Father Mata was helping in that. I enjoy doing that. I like to work with kids and teenagers. So hopefully one day the pandemic will be over and we can gather all the people here again. So that would be fantastic. We continue to pray for that. Is anybody celebrating birthday during these days or anniversaries? Nothing, no one? Okay. So thank you so much for being here, all of you, the lectures. Thank you. Thank you so much for being each one of you, the lectors, the extraordinary ministers of communion, the choir. Thank you so much. Julie is going to say anything. Um, no, can I have the catechist? Because you are here. Mark said also. Okay. Ah, okay, for the blessing, no? Yes. Okay. It's kind of cool. Please raise your right hand, all the people. Heavenly Father, we humbly implore your Son, your Holy Spirit, upon these guys who will be and ladies will be the catechists teaching and leading us, the kids and teenagers of our community, and help them to be the leaders and the witness of the resurrection of Jesus Christ by word and example, to be, to lead them in everything together with their parents, to work for them and to increase our faith. And I bless them in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much for that. Beautiful job you are doing for the children and teenagers. Kids and teenagers. Is anything else? Anything else? No? Done? The food? Ah, and also uh, tomorrow, no? Tomorrow is coming one truck with the food for the people who are in need to 9 through 3 p.m. Is anybody help us? to pack in it, that would be fantastic. And delivering for the people, that would be 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. here in the Paris, okay? So please let us know if somebody is in need and we can help him with that. Thank you so much for this wonderful job. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is ending. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Have a blessed day. You too, Father. Exit him. Go make a difference. <laughs>